uh, when Jonathan said, this is our hour, he meant it. Yeah. This is America, the beautiful, greatest hour. Do you know why? Because in deep darkness, the prophet Isaiah mm -hmm. said, in Isaiah 60, in deep darkness, the glory or the manifest presence or the goodness of God will fill the whole earth. Mm. And that's where we are right now. Wouldn't you agree? This is deep darkness. Yeah, deep darkness. And here's where we are. Now, I have had maybe a little compared to many throughout history of experience with the glory of God. Uh, it started when as a 30-year-old Jewish man that the only thing I would not believe in is Jesus with having an encounter with him. Mm. And there's only one way I moved from where I was. Mm. There was no other way, Jonathan, mm. no other way to move from, I was stuck. You could have told me Isaiah 53 and proven it conclusively and I'd laugh at you. Mm. But when God showed up, he showed up with his presence. And I have found the presence of God is the game changer. Mm -hmm. It's not yes. a game changer. Yes. It yes. is the game changer. Yes. yes. And I was, I have to tell you, I, as radical as I was for the devil, that instantly, you asked my wife, she said, I didn't marry that guy. The one thing I knew is I didn't want to marry a minister. What happened to Sid? She'll tell you that. But immediately, I was telling everyone everywhere, before I read the New Testament, I was a guest uh, on a woman's television show that many of you have heard of, Catherine Coleman. And the glory of God jumped on me on that show. I, I mean, I... I hadn't even read the New Testament. I was witnessing all over the world <laughs> about the reality. You know, you don't, you don't even have to read the New Testament. All you have to, I mean, you should, but all you have to do is know Jesus is real and tell the world. Don't you wait till you get all these degrees. Yes. Open your mouth now. Right. Now is the acceptable time. That's right. But I'll, I'll tell you, and then I started speaking for Jewish outreaches. I had some of the brethren, uh, not the brethren church, the brethren, <laughs> Jewish brethren, when I said a thousand Jews in Israel have just stood up and made public, mm -hmm. they said impossible. Well, I agree it's impossible, but in the presence of God, guess what? All things are possible. Amen. But Amen. it's a two-edged sword, yes. the presence of God. If you have lived a constantly repentant life, mm -hmm. and even if you haven't, <laughs> now you can get it. Yes. Now you can repent. I, I'll tell you, Jonathan, there are things I repent of now that I didn't even think were sin as yeah. a new believer. Yeah. But yeah. I, I do. Why? The closer you get to God, the more you will repent. You know, some people say, oh, you have to preach a strong message to repent. In the glory, God does the conviction. Hey, the greatest Jewish prophet at his time was a prophet by the name of Isaiah. He went to the throne room, came into the presence of God. This is what the most holy man, uh, not my rabbi who thought he was one of the ten most holy men in the world, but a traditional rabbi, but this particular rabbi, Isaiah, this is what he said, the holiest man in Israel at that moment. I'm an unclean man, the holiest prophet of Israel. I have unclean lips because he came into the purity of a clean God. That's what's about ready to happen. We will see a billion, I tell you, billions of young people 
come to the Lord and be as radical as I was. Mm. And let me tell you something. The devil can go after two or three or a thousand men of God or women of God, but what's he going to do with a billion? He's going to go mashuga. That's a Hebrew word for crazy. That's what he's going to do. And by the way, don't you dare put God in the box of previous moves of His Spirit, mm. because He's going to do something He's never done before. You can say, they don't do that at my congregation. Well, they probably don't. <laughs> but is God not bigger than every move of the Spirit He's ever had? Of course He is. And is God not ready to return to earth based on the signs we say? See. Of course he is. And is God not ready to have the greatest outpouring in history of his presence?